Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Keza Y. If you are interested in programming, you probably start learning grammar for programming, for example, if statement, for loop, etc. And you might reach to one common question that is, so what? If you study the basic coding grammar, you would have no idea how you build a website or mobile app. Same here. When I self studied programming, I also got the same question, even though I repeat the online free courses. I have no idea how I can build my own product. So I think it'd be useful to share my mobile app development journey for those who want to create your own product. So let's get into it. So let me firstly talk about what kind of apps I try to create. When I developed my first app, I've got a reason why I needed to create it. My app idea is coming from one experiences when traveling in China. It was more than five years ago. I figured out that I couldn't use any of apps I'm familiar with, such as Google, YouTube, Facebook, so no translator and also I couldn't speak Chinese. It was very hard for me to even find my way to back to my hostel. And then I decided to create my own translation app and be used even offline. And it's gonna be my first app released on Google Play Store. Okay, so next, I'm gonna talk about how I self studied mobile app development. When I firstly tried to create my own mobile app, I googled which is better for beginner iOS or Android. And Google told me that Android is better because it's only one time pay for 25 US dollars to register Google Developer Console. Meanwhile, for iOS, Every year we have to pay around 100 US dollars and I had no confidence to make a profit more than 100 US dollars. So I decided to create an Android app and I paid 25 US dollars to open up my Google Developer Console. Next, I had to think about the programming language. I didn't even know which programming language I should use to create an Android app. And Google told me that I can use Java to create an Android app. For now, Kotlin is probably more popular than Java, but more than five years before, I think Java was more mainstream than Kotlin. Anyway, I started learning Java coding, but it was much harder than I think. Java coding, it looks like a magical incantation, like public, static, void, main, blah, blah, blah. And I reached to the same question again. So what? How I can create my own mobile app by learning Java. So I changed my way to study. I watched a video on YouTube about app structure and then I learned that we can create mobile app by UI and logics. UI means user interface, objects you can actually see, like image or text. Logic means a backend process via input and output. This UI and logic is the things I have to learn to create mobile app. And I googled again and again and again. And I use Stack Overflow a lot, which is a Q&A service we can ask for engineers all over the world. And finally, I could build my very first app, Doko de Momo. It means translation anywhere. It's standalone app, no API, no database. It's just a simple app, but it was a good start for my IT journey. So that's all for my videos today. No need to be afraid of creating your own product. Even though you don't have CS background, if you have a strong motivation and reason to create your own product, you can do it. And if you like today's video, don't forget to subscribe and also put the thumb button. See you in the next video. Goodbye.